We're at Nelson Center with Springfield Junior Blues coach Tony Sasowski. First year for Coach uh, Sasowski with the Junior Blues. Coach, uh, you're getting ready for your home opener Friday night here at Nelson Center against uh, Kenai, Kenai River. Kenai, uh, yep. Kenai River, excuse me. But you are coming off uh, the NAHL Showcase. Uh, you played four games up in Minnesota. Just just any general thoughts, uh, you know, how the team performed up there, anything you learned, any questions that were answered, or maybe not? You know, again, I think uh, we got better as the weekend went on, and that's one thing we've challenged these guys, especially being a young group, is uh, every period of every game we have to continue to grow and develop with the uh, young nucleus we have of this team. And, again, I think having a lead in three out of the four games showed a lot of promise that, again, we can play with everybody. So, again, we're looking for big things as the season goes. Yeah. Uh, and you, you talked about you, you're a young team, even by NAHL standards. Uh, just maybe is that is that maybe kind of by design to try to kind of sort of build build a program, so to speak? Yes, it is. Uh, again, we have five high school kids. Uh, again, we, we want to build a program that uh, you know, builds championship teams every year, year after year. And to do that, we wanted to get the young guys in here that uh, bought into our system right away, build the right culture of the team, and, again, um, you know, having five high school guys and a lot of 19, 18-year-old guys, we know that over the next two, three years we'll have a lot of returning players and uh, things will be good. Yeah. And you talked about a young team and, and, and one, uh, I guess you say, very young young man who's on the team this year, Trevor Stone from uh, Pleasant Plains. Uh, he's, I think you said he's one of only maybe five 16-year-olds in the league this year? That's what I had. The number I heard is that there's only five 16-year-olds. He's one of them. But again, uh, by his play, it doesn't matter. Uh, he had two goals for us on the weekend. Uh, you know, big one uh, in the last game. He got brought us within one and gave us a chance to win the game at the end. Right. Uh, just, you know, it's, it's a it's kind of a, a new beginning for this franchise, even though it's been here for like 20 years. Uh, Dan Ferguson, a good friend of yours, is, is the owner now, and it's kind of a partnership with you guys. Uh, just talk about, you know, trying to kind of main, there's a lot of tradition here, a lot of history here, but at the same time, kind of a new era, so to speak. Is it? Are you kind of trying to balance those two things? Definitely, because again, uh, you know, I think the, the years that I remember most are the 90s. Uh, that's when the Junior Blues won two Robertson Cups. And, uh, again, that's when, you know, they were the championship team and really the program. I think they had led the league in attendance three or four years in a row. Uh, so, again, we're, we're trying to rebrand the Junior Blues and be a modern, you know, franchise with all the different things they have here. At the same point, hold on to that tradition because, again, uh, we're the oldest team in the league by at least five years. And, again, uh, we want to hold on to that, you know, that tradition and history here and uh, really add to it. And I think that's the important thing for us. So, again, we're going to try some new things here. And uh, But, again, same point. Any fans that have uh, some link to the past, we're looking for it because, again, it's uh, very important to us. Okay. Tony, listen, we appreciate you taking some time to talk to us. Uh, uh, I know there's a lot of excitement here for the, for the uh, home opener Friday night, and uh, good luck this season. Thank you.